Hey, hey. It's, uh, it's the Artie Lang Show, man. And uh, I'm here with a guy who I'm a big fan of, a big fan of the show he's on. I, the, one of the only reality shows I got into in this whole reality show craze is Deadliest Catch because it's just it's just real men. It, it's so refreshing in this sea of just, just punks and just jerk-offs that, that is television. Like, you know, even coming from the era of Dawson's Creek and Felicity. And <laughs> it's just so great to see a new brand of TV uh, star like these guys. This is Jonathan Hillstrand. Yeah. We, and uh, he's a captain of the Time Bandit on the show Deadliest Catch. And I, I, I got way into this show. And uh, a, a, a mutual friend of ours tells me that Jonathan, and we had never met, he uh, he's getting interviewed in London or something. Yeah, they they told what me happened? they knew you, and I said, "Oh man, I gotta meet him." I, I just you have that damn uh, telephone. Yeah, there. yeah, the English but telephone. I, I'm arguing about the Queen because she said she says scheduled. Right. And it's scheduled. <laughs> you know, a school S C H. Yeah. School her S C H. She's like scheduled, and then everyone says scheduled. Yeah. So then uh, they go, living or dead, if you could have. Dinner with any two people who would it be? And I said, Artie Lang and the Queen. I'd just love to. How many lumps you want? I already got my lumps, bitch. Um, I don't know if I can say that on the no, show. No, 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 bitch is fine. But, uh, no, but, but my... it'd be just funny to watch you guys have dinner together. <laughs> so I said, I'd want that'd be my. That's what my friend. That's not that, that so... made it away to me. My, my friend told me, you know, you know Jonathan from, <laughs> from a Deadliest Catch said your name. Uh, he'd, you're one of two people, living or dead. He'd like to have a dinner with you and the Queen. And I said, well, I gotta talk to him. He yeah. knows who I am. I want to talk to the guy. I was such a fan, so we talked on the phone, and and you're in town, and I wanted to have you on. So now you're in town to go to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. What's the matter? I was at a dude ranch like one day too long, and they, they said, "Bring that little bull over here. I'm gonna <laughs> jump on it." And right. I broke for ribs in 12 places, punctured my lung, and on a motorcycle. And then, uh, no, on a bull. On bull. a bull. On a bull. Wow. Yeah, a bull. Then uh, two months later, I wrecked a motorcycle. But Discovery took good care of me and brought me here to Sinai. Oh, and, good. I'm sure. And, uh, so when I came back. <laughs> Yeah, why not? A couple months later, and uh, not a bull wrecked the motorcycle, so now they're going to check me out. They have two ribs they want to re-break and fix. Oh, man. Oh, so well, at least you I, I can't annoying. picture this. You, you're so, talking... I gotta, so I'm tired of being a tough guy. You know, I'm <laughs> yeah. Tough guy. That, yeah, you, uh, but, but, but so you, uh, now, when you're, how do you get into this for a living? It's a family uh, thing, obviously. You and your brother yeah. uh, both have boats, and, and uh, you, 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 like, you grew up in this life of yeah, going and it's good for money, King Crab. Right? You know, yeah. we make really good money, and... Uh, they say, you know, it's this and that. It's the money. Right, sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like these these guys like uh made seventy grand, you know, in two months. But, right. It's but a lot the of risk, money. there's yeah. a lot of risk out there. And like the first two days I was telling you earlier, and right. two guys lost their legs, you know. In this season. So yeah. So and so this, so two guys lose their legs. It's pretty much ninety something percent uh, injury rate. You'll smash your fingers or toes. Or, right. Now you know. uh, when re you're recruiting guys to do this, like where where do you find these guys? I mean, you we, gotta make we, sure. Uh, we only make sure we will take them out in the summer because the boat does ten months out of the year. Right. Right. So we'll take them out in the summer and test them out. Now, what do you go for in the summer? We we take salmon from other little boats. And, okay. And and uh, we do herring. And the king crab thing though is specifically it's, in the winter. You got to go out in the winter. Yeah, and the reason why is because the the crab meat's full. And right. Uh, if we fish in the summer, they're they're soft and uh -huh. there's no meat. Yeah, and so, uh, you uh, you're out there. And it's just evil, brutal, mean. Like uh, your little wind coming in. Yeah. I used to fish over here too. Out a boat out of Gloucester. I was a Gloucesterman. Oh, you were for, for six a while. years. Yeah. yeah. And I, I just, I'm getting too old for this, man. <laughs> I was, I was watching that wind and waves, and that uh, with fish 200 miles out off George's Bank, going those poor bastards out there. Yeah. So I know there's only five deep sea lobster boats fishing still. Right. Because they, they limited the entry, limited entry now. Oh, they did. Uh, so I'm Why? going there's five of those because I would be out there, you know. Right. Now, where'd you grow up? Alaska. In Alaska. And then, uh, when we had a, we had a, we didn't have a king crab season one year, so I was reading the Fisherman's Journal and it said New Bedford, Massachusetts. Number one fishing port, so I flew straight there. And, and you go where the work is. End up uh, getting a boat. And now, when they came, when they came, how did you get your own boat? How, did, how does that um, happen? Me and my brothers got together and, and got tired of working for other guys and yelling. And, That's you know, a smart move. We have, we have a joke, uh, difference between God and the captain. Yeah. Even God knows he's not a captain. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, everyone hates a captain. But, uh, and you, and you, when when you find out that they want to do a, a, a TV show about this, how does that come about? And mm -hmm. what's your reaction to that? Like, you're, at I, first you're like, no way, you can't yeah. do that. Or? I go, you just want to see us get hurt. And, uh, yeah. And my brother said, yeah. And then um, he fishes the old paleo season. I, I fish the king crab. And 
then uh, we're on for a couple of years, and all of a sudden it's their number one show. It's just, it is. It's amazing. It's the tenth season. Yeah, it's a year. Yeah. Yeah. People say you look a little old, and I go, well, <laughs> shit, it's been on the show for nine years, man. No, that is yeah. real. That is real work. Yeah. 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 Now how? Oh, it, it is. It's not even. There's no lines. We don't have no pickups or lines. Or, yeah. They run like hell to try to catch whatever they can get. So the, the camera guys really you know, have a hard yeah, job. They, yeah, I've got a tough job to get right. a story to go. So they're out there with us for months. How many cameras? Those they guys put are on? tough. How many cameras they put on a boat? Oh, they got hard mounted cameras everywhere. And yeah. The, the, little, the little GoPros have, have brought the show like yeah. great places. And then they have two camera guys that run around with cameras. And, and they, they live on the boat. They fall and fish. We have open holes. And we don't have ocean <laughs> and all that. Yeah. Them guys out there to make sure. Oh, man. So uh, when, when there's a main uh, major injury on the <clears> boat, you got to, when you're out there, you got to wait for the Coast Guard to come to you, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. You see, they make you bring them. We bring them in. And oh, okay. Unless, uh, unless it's life threatening, the guy's going to die. Right. And if it's blown more than 50, then they're, they got to, the Coast Guard's going to win anyway, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's so fascinating, so, just what you guys yes. go through physically. Uh, this, what's the, what's the worst injury you've been a part of or seen or had? I, we pulled dead guys out of the water. I, I pulled a guy out of the water once that was too cold that died and, and, and uh. just a few things like that. But, uh, he it died is. from cold weather? Yeah, he, he was got too cold. Yeah, yeah. He, oh what God. happened was he, uh, my brother Dave jumped in the water and grabbed him right as he took a breath of water. And if he wouldn't have taken that breath of water is what killed him. Oh, God. Because it made the inside. By the time we got right. the water out of him and right. got him breathing, he breathed twice. Oh, man. We, they felt the soul. They, they, they said they felt it. Yeah, no kidding. What's the temperature of that water? Um, by the ice edge, it's 28. But uh, it's usually 34 degrees pretty much all the way from Dutch Harbor up. So you 12, 1,200 miles of, of ocean freezes. Right. It comes. Oh, it does. It yeah. actually freezes. Yeah. From, uh, you, they, uh, actually, the Northwest Passage opens up the last three years. It's opened up. Okay. Over 280 boats have done it now. I think it's around 280. But uh, that water will freeze all the way down to 1,200 miles. Right. It's craziness. It's the, and so the Bering Strait is where you, you actually Bering are, Street, which yeah. is just yeah. really the, like, you know, the yeah. work. The Strait was where the did. early man was. A lot, of, man a lot of people don't know it takes a week just to get there. Like uh, uh, Sig Hansen, he travels a week just to get to Dutch Harbor. Right. I come from Homer, Alaska. It takes about five and a half, six days. And they come from Seattle. And you're, you know, you're nowhere near town. You're you, you, could, know, you, you could cry, but your mama's not going to hear what I'm you. Saying, yeah. you know, we're near civilization. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're in Dutch Harbor. Now, is Sig a, a Seattle guy? Yeah. Is he from Seattle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we have that joke uh, about, you know, there's a girl behind every tree and there's three trees. <laughs> so there's <laughs> so one bar and jail and a church. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it like uh, with the women in your life, though? I mean, well, you know, they got. So I've always had women, man. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying it's. <laughs> yeah, I, they got to deal with you being away, yeah, and uh, yeah, you, know. you don't have a girlfriend. You just have a turn. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, no, I I'm gone a lot. And yeah. I've, I've 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 tried twice, and I had kids, and I stayed with the girl for nine years, and right, and then I, I come home, and she's. My, my dog and my friend are driving my truck. And I go, get the heck out of my truck. And I go, and the dog jumps out. I go, no, you get back in. You get in. You know what I really said. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah I go, uh, anyway. well, can, I, can you stick around for another segment? I yeah. Can, yeah. yeah I go.